Personally, I think the best marketing happens when there's a partnership between the CEO and the head of marketing. There is alignment around goals and expectations and what will happen when. And as important, you know how to deal and learn from marketing that doesn't go as expected. Failure is a part of the marketing mix. And no matter how hard you try, things aren't going to work sometimes. Do you have these conversations with the CEO? And how do you agree to the rules of engagement so that everyone's on the same page and that you go into the marketing journey in lockstep? I've had two situations in terms of the leadership structure at the translation company I was at and at Butter, there was a middle person I was reporting to. At Butter, we had a chief growth officer who was responsible for more growth outreach activities, whereas I was doing all the marketing content. At Sumo Lingua, I reported to a chief revenue officer Whereas at Doc, we're an eight person company. So I'm reporting directly to the CEO. And the relationship with the CEO is extremely important in both of those situations. Obviously, especially in my situation where that's my direct report. For us, it was setting really clear expectations, like you said, of what role does marketing play in the company, but also what is his time commitment to this? And what guidance is he going to give me throughout this process? He's like, I want to spend 5% of my time on marketing. I expect in your first three months, it will be a lot more than that. But eventually, here's the time block. He's like, he used to be the VP of marketing at Lattice. So he was a marketer before he was a CEO. He knows that his time could easily get sucked into it just because he's interested in it. But he wants me to help time block him of, you know, this is how much time I want to spend. But he also wants me to hold him accountable for, I want to write one thought leadership post a month or a blog. I'm probably not going to do it unless you hound me for it. And so you need to have that open relationship of setting communication guidelines, expectations. He sent me a thing on my first day that said, I'm available these hours. If you really need something from me, put it in an email. If you need something quick, put it on Slack. He gave me the whole operating manual for how to work with him. But then he also flipped that over to me and said, you know, tell me what you need for me to set whether it's weekly priorities, monthly, quarterly priorities, like you tell me what that communication needs to be. You have to come to that together. If you just are a yes person to the CEO, I don't think you're going to have this two-way relationship where you can actually succeed. So the relationship I have is much more like I come to him and say, here are five ideas for what I think we should do next. I think this is priority one, two, three, four, five. How does that feel to you? Does that align with the company strategy? Does that align with the company vision? And he can then point me in the right direction. But what he's not telling me to do is, here's how I think you should execute on each of these things. He's just telling me which are the most important.